On Tuesday, we were in Nyatike, in Migori County, launching a similar industrial park. And yesterday, I was in Kisi, launching another park there in the land of bananas. And today, I came to the land of Jaramogi, and the land of Obama, and the land of Baba. and the land of the great James Orengo to say that indeed development has no boundaries and we are all one people. What would make me more proud that coming back here in Orengo in two years time and finding as per my estimate around 20,000 people working here working on a very thriving fish industry where today I am not coming with new fish. It is the same fish that is found in this treasure of yours called the lake. But I am here today to ensure that you reap maximum benefit from your fish. The same, same fish that you have. Once we do value addition, once you do processing of your fish, once you sell your fish directly from Alego, as that young girl has said, from Siaya to the world, it will make my heart melt with love. How happy will I be if today I'm wearing clothes which are not benefiting the people of this country. But when we work together on the cotton industry here in Siaya, and within two years we come back and say we are now wearing clothes made in Siaya, not just by tailors of Siaya, but Siaya farmers toiling in their farms and helping us to clothe ourselves. For indeed, it's a shame that 60 years after independence, we continue to import clothes when we can actually make our own cotton. The same for all the other products. I have seen a lot of activities on sunflower and other edible oils. This year, Kenya will import crude palm oil worth 150 billion Kenya shillings. That money will benefit people of Malaysia, people of Indonesia, people of other countries. That money will create jobs in Indonesia and Malaysia. It is my humble contention that these jobs are required here in Kenya more than anywhere else. If we continue importing shoes, when we can have seen here some efforts to have some leather coming from fish as a byproduct of fish. And as I said on Monday in Laikipia, I look forward to next year where I will ban all imports of shoes so that the people of Siaya and the people of this region can be able to convert fish into leather, into shoes, into bags for our ladies, into belts, so that we can also put money in our pockets. This program is a shared program.